All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, as far as this lightweight division goes, champ, they don't come a whole lot more entertaining than Mark Jacasey had a huge win over Joseph Duffy not all that long ago, and he spins it forward here tonight. Mark Jacasey's one of those guys that's been up and down in the UFC, but he's looking to get everything headed in the right direction. He has phenomenal boxing. As you said, he's a very entertaining fighter. He has a massive build for the UFC lightweight division. A savage of a fighter is Mark Jacasey. So another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight. And the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mats. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, you put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, six losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Doncaster, England, Mark. Bo Crusher, Dyer Casey! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, Ishan Makachan! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. It doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? One? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. If he can make contact, he can drag... Whoa! Oh, Jacasey gets back up. Great punch landing with so much power. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Real quick leg kick. Jacasey's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice loop of punch. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Straight right. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh. Left hand punch from the clinch. Just misses with the jab there. And he landed the right hand there. Jacasey's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. 
Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Nice kick. Nice knee to the body there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just out of range with the big right hand. Big punch lands over the top. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Oh, he hurt a badly jab. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Final seconds of round one. Oh, lands an uppercut to the head now, DC. Usually when you're the shorter fighter, you can land those types of shots. Look back to Mike Tyson in his prime. He landed those over and over again to put guys to sleep. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? All right, round two. Straight punch lands. Ooh, blocks the shot. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. He's hurt. Oh, Jacasey gets hit with a kick. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. He's hurt. He's hurt. Down into his mouth. Oh, and he gives up his back here, DC. I know you've never had your back taken in the UFC. You've never been submitted. Uh, this is not a good spot for the defensive fight. It's not. Oh, 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 nice job, Wolf. Oh! Look at that. It's over. Weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, four seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Islam Bokachev!